you do in the moment when a young child, like a preschooler, is having a meltdown? Are you drawing a blank? Are you feeling anxious already? I know I did, used to, and I wanted to share with you exactly, like, just run through what happened with my morning, basically. Because that was my morning. <laughs> Uh, so what happened was my four-year-old woke up right when my husband was heading off to work and he's like, Daddy, I want to go on a tractor ride because we have a lawn tractor. And my husband's like, I'm sorry, buddy. I know you really want to. Why don't we do that when I get home from work? Cue the crying. Then my husband couldn't find his keys. So we're looking all over for the house for the truck keys and I happened to find my son's fake set of keys, handed it to him, another big meltdown, big feelings. His keys don't actually do anything, they're not useful. Oh, So I'm trying to work with the little guy. We sent my husband off to work, that got all sorted out. So I'm trying to work with the little guy and I'm... <clears throat> so my little guy was curled up on the couch, all crying and everything and I said, Wow, buddy, you look really upset. Yes, I am. <sighs> then I am started asking just some really open-ended questions. And I tried taking a guess at what's upsetting them. Usually you can get a hint by their behavior or their tone of voice. And I said, are you really upset because you wanted to go for a tractor ride with daddy? And he says, no, I'm going to go later. I said, oh, okay. And then I said, are you, what, what, what's bothering you? And then he said, I'm going to show you. So he took me to the keys and explained to me that he was just beside himself upset because his keys don't actually do anything. And then he ran to the bedroom and hid under some blankets. So I tried to empathize and say, wow, so you really want some keys that that are useful. You're You're wanting your keys to have you know, to find out what they're, they're for. And yes, yes, and my keys don't do anything. And I find that when they keep repeating themselves, it means that they haven't unlocked or moved on. And sometimes just helping them just get that out helps a little. Um, and then what works for my little guy is physical touch sometimes if he's not kicking at me. So he likes it when I rub his hair. So I was rubbing his hair and trying to inc be, say encouraging things like, wow, sometimes it feels yucky. We have all these big feelings inside of us. And, and he just kept going on about the keys. And then I noticed there's some gum stuck in his hair. So I kind of changed the subject and was talking a bit about his hair. And uh, that distracted him for a while. And I asked if I could remove the gum. So then we had to cut the gum out of his hair. Right, so can you guess what happened right after I cut the gum out? Of course, my four-year-old decides, I want to be a hairdresser. Mommy, I'm going to cut your hair. I was like, nope, no thank you. <laughs> I like my hair. Uh, hair scissors, hair cutting is not for, for, for you. Uh... I don't remember how I worded it. I tried to be nice, but I'm like, no, thank you. I don't feel comfortable with you cutting my hair. I would prefer my hair to be left alone. And he gets all worked up and I had to take the scissors to keep us safe. And then he, like this was even, now his meltdown's even bigger. So I'm trying to think something, clearly something bigger is going on. Everything is setting this kid off this morning. The tractor, the keys, the scissors. Everything's setting him off this morning, but is there some kind of common theme? What's going on that's making this little guy cry so much? So he's on the bed again, and I said, wow, you know, j sometimes when I, everything's upsetting me, I want, I, I, it feels yucky inside. And he had already said that he wanted to hurt me with the keys and he was gonna throw them at me. And I said, yeah. When I feel really upset, I want other people to know it too. I want them to feel just as yucky as me. Is that why you want to throw the keys? And he didn't answer, but I could tell like, he's like, yeah, okay, she's getting what I'm going for here. So I said, yeah, I do you want 
me to help you get the yuckies out? And then he didn't really say much, so I gave him some suggestions and I said, you know, sometimes when I'm feeling upset, it helps if I get a hug. And sometimes I could help you hug those feelings out. Or maybe we could, um, we could, we could wrestle because wrestling sometimes helps, but that's more like when he's angry. And then a light bulb went off and I said, is it because you want to use real things? Yes, you guys never let me do. Oh, I know why. He said, you guys never let me do anything. And like, yeah, everything was a no this morning. No to the tractor, no to the keys that were useless, no to the scissors. I said, wow. So you like, you know, I noticed you're growing up. You're not a little kid anymore. You're not a little guy. You're starting to be a bigger boy. And you're, you don't want to have like little play keys that don't do anything and you want to do real big jobs yes and so I you know I'm like okay, thinking in my head okay what is a big job I can actually get him to do I said wow you know I've got some what if we find a big thing that you could actually do and he, he stopped crying instantly and I said you know you're really good at baking I could totally you could make cookies they could be your own invention and we could eat your cookies and I'll let you play with the ingredients. Or maybe do you want to work on the obstacle course that you were inventing yesterday? And we could, you could be in charge and I'll just be your assistant. And I think I gave him another example. And he's like, oh, and, and I could work on my obstacle course. And I love the way he tries to say, it. he cannot say obstacle. So it's like an obstacle course and 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 we can but no dangerous sharp bits and I said yes and he said yeah like I want to use real tools but nothing sharp and nothing dangerous and nothing sparks and I said okay so you want to start using real tools you want to do some big helpful things yes and then he got all excited and he was planning out his obstacle course and he jumped out of bed. And so the bottom line is you got to be a detective uh, to try and find out what's really going on behind their big feelings. And also a lot of the time, especially as children grow and they realize that they're not little anymore, uh, probably around the four to five, six year old thing is gonna be a big change. Around the eight to 10 is another big change. And so my, <clears throat> my point is that they wanna be capable. They want to actually have real tools, do real things and not just be brushed off as little babies all the time. So right now my little guy is out on the tractor with his big brother and we are going to go work on his obstacle course and I'm trying to include him in as much as I can and make it sound like I really need his help. So when I was baking bread this morning, I needed him to do all the measuring. And uh, Josh, you're such so good at measuring. Could you please come help me? I really need your assistance. And that just lit him up. So keep at it. You've got this. Great job, mamas.